Institute for Faith and Freedom at Grove City College presents Liberty Mail with the Student Fellows of Faith and Freedom. Welcome back to Liberty Mail. I'm Katie Kenline. And I'm Grace Riley. And we are so happy today to bring you the final episode of this season of Liberty Mail. And my last episode ever. (laughs) Which is very sad, but we know that we've had a great year here um, just talking to you live from Institute for Faith and Freedom at Grove City. And Grace is going on to do some wonderful, amazing things. Um, We'll very much miss her here. Um, But just will you just tell us, um, we're just going to talk, we're going to do a recap of some of the things Grace's time here at Grove City, what she's doing next, um, just some special things from this year, how we got here, things that we never expected were going to happen this year. But um, would you talk just some about how IFF, as you go forward, what you're bringing with you from the school here? Yeah, well, I will say it's bittersweet definitely recording this. The last episode, I've been involved with the podcast for three years now because Obviously, I was the co-host for this season, the past season with Aaron Jenks, and then I guessed it a few times with Libby Krieger and Aaron Jenks back three years ago. So it's been a really impactful part of my growth here at Grove City and learning how to speak eloquently about issues, learning how to interview people. It's been so formative and helpful to me as I just grow as a professional. Uh, And that's a hard question to answer because IFF... I mean, the the real answer is in pretty much every way IFF has helped to prepare me. Um, just again, from doing the weekly podcast episodes to the opportunities, I think especially that the Institute for Faith and Freedom has given me to interview notable individuals. Mm-hmm. So the standouts there would be Newt Gingrich. So that was yeah. a really huge deal. I was so excited doing that. Um, and still am looking back at it. Yeah. And that was just such an honor and pleasure to be able to do that as a college student. I mean, what college students can say that they get opportunities like this? Well, the Institute for Faith and Freedom gives college students these opportunities. So really, really incredible. And on top of that, we were actually talking about this in Dr. Paul Kengor's class today. <laughs> but back when we had Monique Dusson mm-hmm. come to campus and talk about CRT, so critical race theory, I was fortunate to interview her, Monique Dusan, and Krista Bontragan, who both, they they head up a center basically that talks about biblical unity and about critical race theory. Mm -hmm. And I was able to interview them and talk about that. The episode is called Critical Race Theory um, and a Better Hope, so CRT and a Better Hope, which you can find on our YouTube channel. But those just have been some notable things that I think back on in interviewing Abby Johnson. Yeah, last that, year. Yes, yeah. and the many interviews with Dr. Paul Kengor yes. have been such a, <laughs> a privilege and pleasure. And even just thinking about the conferences we've had, we had the post America conference, the Confronting Anti-Semitism conference. And if you, if all of you remember people who have been listening to Liberty Mail for the past two years, for confronting, or excuse me, for the post row America conference, that was an excellent growth point for me because that was, I believe it was 10 interviews that I did wow. in the course of a day or two. So that was a lot all at once, but that prepared me really well now to go off and be equipped to handle situations like that. Yeah, and it's wild just thinking about how how far we've come over these. I can't believe I'm a junior or that you're graduating. I know when I came here my freshman year, um, someone was like, well, you know, this girl, Grace, goes to school here, too. And, um, you know, I was like, oh, my gosh, <laughs> she's at conservative Grace on Instagram. I know who she is. That's so funny. Um, but you've always had this, like, passion and use your platform so well. Um, but it's wild. Like, you came here in the middle of, like, at this time, it was COVID, right? Like, in the mm-hmm. fall. And then you had just, like, the... I don't want to be like the history that has happened like in the last four years here, but it's wild. Like the things we're living through right now, um, it's wild time. Like you came in the middle of COVID ish and then like the 2020 election. And then like, here we are now about to have another presidential election. It's wild. Yeah. Uh, it's certainly, we've been, we've covered a lot of topics, been over a lot of ground. Uh, really, really crazy. I think this year, Um, I enjoyed when we covered Israel the most, obviously didn't enjoy the topic, but I think that was really impactful to learn more about and dive into and have the opportunity to talk about on the show. Yeah. And then the thing about part of why that conference last spring was, you know, post-Roe America is obviously in in 2021, we have um, the Dobbs case that overturns um, 
Roe v. Wade. And I think one of the most special times that we've shared was being in D.C. Um, in December of 2021. Just what a special or December of was it 20? Yeah, it was 2021. Some, um, I don't know. <laughs> just being in um, in front of the Supreme Court on the day that they heard oral arguments. Um, just really special that that part of history we're living through, too. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. And I know that we're going to talk about what's next. But I just realized quick, I want to give a shout out to the people who have really been the ones that have helped me to get to where I am, um, become the person I am. And that would be first First off, Liberty Mail's number one fans, watchers every week, Mom yes. and Les, shout out to you. They've supported the podcast every single week and have supported me so much. Oh. And also shout out to my dad, Kristen, Grandma Goose, Papa Choo Choo, and you can all laugh at those names. But all of them have been just so amazing and helpful as my family members in getting me to where I am today. I can't even express that. So just shout out to them because I know they're watching this. Oh, that's so <laughs> sweet. No, that's really great. And just the the support that we've had of different faculty who come on and talk or um, just how the school's involved with this podcast is really special. I mean, the number of times you've interviewed um, Dr. Ken Gore and just his support and other people, it's it's a really special environment community I know for sure. We feel, I know we both feel like we're having a lot of fun every week when we sit down and record. It's really special. Yeah. yeah. So first, tell us about your internship this summer. So Katie got a really exciting opportunity you. that you'll all be really excited to hear about and not surprised probably oh. because this makes so much sense. <laughs> well, so yeah, I'm a junior. I'll be back here next year um, and we're hoping to continue um, this podcast and we have uh, many great new fellows. It's going to be really exciting year next year for IFF. Um, but this summer, yeah, so... Uh, my Congresswoman, Kath McMorris Rogers from Washington's 5th Congressional District, she announced um, that she's one of many um, Republicans who are retiring um, from the House um, at the end of this term. And so, um, which is a great thing for her family and everything. Um, but we're losing an amazing just champion on the Hill for many different issues. Um, but she basically has... Um, this summer, I'm going to go work in her office um, as staff transitions and everything and get to really have one of my basically a dream job working um, in comms and um, press um, in her office, in congressional office on the Hill. Um, it'll be really special. And I'm really I'm really looking forward to it. Um, yeah, it's just I, I'm it'll be a perfect little short term thing and then come back and finish um, senior year. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm really excited for it. And it's very a blessing and to work for someone that I admire so much and um to be in an environment like that will be really special you know I growing up in the other Washington Washington state I like absolutely dreamed about going and working on the hill um you know me watching Madam Secretary when I was like 15 years old just like dreamed of going to D.C. Um, and it's wild like here we are today but you're not going to dc are you it's so really <laughs> exciting everyone i did not want to go to dc yeah, so grace so. tell us about what you're doing yeah absolutely so i avoided dc um that's for another episode why i would want to avoid dc we've probably covered it enough but i'll be going to florida which is really exciting and i will be working for a company called restoration of america which i've started working for part-time but this is a company you should all check out because if you like IFF, Liberty Mail, then you'll definitely enjoy Restoration of America. It's a Christian conservative company that does a variety of things. But a project that I've been working on that is definitely work worth checking out is called the Language Watch series. And what this is, is short one minute videos that break down the ways that the left has m politically manipulated language. So, for example, there are a lot of terms that are thrown around all the time that even the right has started using. And also, so these are terms that are misused by the left and the right. Uh, and some of the videos include climate change, mm -hmm. abortion rights, gun violence. We just launched one on book banning. And again, those are terms that you hear all the time. But the point is, abortion rights is a term that is political and has been taken over because there's no right to mm -hmm. abortion. Yeah. Um, same thing with gun violence. It is violence by criminals who are using guns, not gun violence. So there are ways that this language has been manipulated to 
influence politics. So these are one minute videos. They come out every two weeks. So they'll be continuing to come out over the next few months and beyond. So it's consistent. They come out every few weeks. You can find it at Restoration of America's website. There's a tab for it. Um, and also at Restoration of America's social media. You can watch these videos. But I think that they're really exciting because it's something that I, I get bothered by a lot. That language is just thrown around every which way and mm -hmm. people get away with it. So Restoration of America is doing a great job trying to address this, work against it, and take back the language as conservatives. Yeah. Well, and this is one of the things that I'm many people don't know, and I think for our listeners, something that I admire so much about you, Grace, is that in your time here at Grove City, you've been involved in so many things. When I came here, you are really involved with Young Women for America, um, leading that chapter, um, and then everything with IFF and all the groups that you've written for um, and published videos for. But um, so this semester in the middle, you kind of threw it under the, uh, there a little bit, but like uh, Grace has been doing school and everything, everything for IFF. And then also she has started this job. So not only does she have this job for after graduation, but she already is doing the job. Um, but it's just really, uh, it's been really amazing to watch you and I admire you so much and just oh, how thanks. <laughs> that's so sweet. But you have like, you have wonderful perspective and priorities, I think, um, which is, um, just the way you're able to balance things and be, and be really real. Um, and just I admire um, your ability to have a perspective and be like, no, I don't like I don't have to go to D.C. Like you're going to continue to do amazing things and to be able to see, no, that's not where I like need to be or my voice needs to be. You know, D.C. is a mess. Um, but it's, it's just really it's really cool, like how you use your your space and your voice and everything. And there are so many ways for people to follow you. Like I said, I followed you when I was in high school. Um, but would you like tell people all the ways they can keep um, just see what you're doing next year and where they can find you and your yeah, work. Yeah, sure. Thanks so much. First of all, that's so kind and it really means a lot. So I would love if you would all keep up with me after school. I'd love to stay in touch. You can find me on Instagram at conservative grace. And this is where I'll be posting probably most of the things that I'm doing after school. And in addition to that, you can find me on Twitter at conserve grace and YouTube. I believe it's at the conservative grace, but, um, those should get you there to be able to keep up we'll with what I'm doing. We'll down below, too. Yeah, yeah but, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll always be a friend of IFF, though, and I hope I'll be able to come back and yeah. do some things. Um, but I'm really grateful for my time. Yeah, but you're going to the Freedom State where it's going to be warm. It's going to be great. I'll be on the on the beach, actually, yeah. Yeah, I'll be on the beach in no time, which is exciting. That's great. Yeah, that's so wild. Yeah, do you well, have any final things to say? It's It's wild that here we are. Um, at the end of the whole season. Yeah, it, it feels, it's definitely bittersweet. I'm really just grateful for my time at Grove City, for my time with the Institute for Faith and Freedom, the privilege it's been to co-host with you, Katie. It's just been wonderful. Um, and I'm grateful for everyone who's helped along the way at IFF. Shout out also to Don Wolf and to Tessa, mm -hmm. who are behind the scenes here. Um, Tessa's helped this year, and Don has helped every single year. He is the superstar behind, behind the, the scenes. scenes. Yep. So definitely to him, and I'm just very grateful. So I guess now I'm signing off for the final time. Yeah, thanks so much for joining us, everyone. Um, it's been a pleasure to co-host and be with you here at Liberty Mail the past few years. And look for Katie next year because she'll be bringing it back. We'll switch seats maybe. Maybe I'll sit and I'll take that seat next year. Thank you, everyone. Yay. For more information on the Institute for Faith and Freedom, visit faithandfreedom.com.